We're here at the Daniel M. Sarif Dome Theater and Planetarium to recount one of the greatest achievements in human history, the Apollo 11 moon landing. The Apollo 11 astronauts were the commander, Neil Armstrong, the lunar module pilot, Buzz Aldrin, and the command module pilot, Michael Collins. They all were pilots from the military. It was thought that pilots would be the best type of people to fly the moon missions. It's a very risky business, and the astronauts knew that. But we're willing to take that risk for humankind. The goal of Apollo 11 was simply to reach the moon and return the astronauts safely back to planet Earth. We've got a lot of moving parts. These rockets are huge, and the computers are new. 400,000 people worked on it all across our great nation. Ignition sequence start. America was united to go to the moon, and we all came together. We have a liftoff. That three-stage rocket is called the Saturn V. The bottom burns for about two minutes, and that lifts them off the ground in Florida. Houston, you are go for staging. And then for the next six, seven minutes, the second stage starts to burn. And then they're left with the third stage, and that will propel them to the moon. It was a beautiful job, you guys. The distance from the Earth to the moon, on average, is 239,000 miles. That's about a three, four-day rocket ride there. The Apollo 11 astronauts came to the moon with the LEM, also called the Eagle. And they detached from the command module. They left Michael Collins to go in orbit. And Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong descend. And of course, they're successful with just a little bit of fuel left. The Eagle has landed. Neil Armstrong was the first to descend. And when he took that first step onto the moon, he said, That's one small step for man. One television sets in America were jubilant, but people all over the world were listening by radio, whatever means they had. And people were ecstatic that we were successful. We set foot onto the moon. Of course, they set up the American flag. And they collected the moon rocks and left behind a plaque that says, we came in peace. So all told, they were on the surface a little over two hours. And you're cleared for takeoff. So when they left the moon, they don't need a big Saturn V rocket for this because the moon has much less gravity, so you don't need as much fuel. And they had to rendezvous with the command module, Michael Collins. And then they head back to Earth The danger of coming back to the Earth is they have to go through the atmosphere, and that's a lot of friction. Velocity, 33,000 feet per second. If they don't come in at the right angle, they could skip off the atmosphere, or if they come in too steep, they could incinerate. But of course, the astronauts did it just right and returned safely back to planet Earth. The spirit of Apollo 11 lives on every time we look at the moon. And it reminds us we've been there. That's the spirit of Apollo we want to explore. We want to take that step further to go beyond. So every time we look at the moon here at the planetarium, it reminds us of the power of Apollo 11.